Uh, Alex Terry, assistant head football coach, highly high. Coach Terry, uh, first of all, Coach Berman, man, I know it's a rough summer for him. He had that pneumonia thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what was that like for you guys, you know, having to help the team out? And you, you know what? Me and Berman been together since forever, and uh, our staff has been, uh, the core of our staff has been together. So even now, we can just, we can get in meetings over the phone and just, you know, get get everything together. His leadership is um, – you know, when you're a good leader, you, you you have your guys in position. So so when he went down a little bit, we all just stepped up a little bit. But you know, we were more concerned about his health than anything. So uh, we knew that we got a lot of leadership, a lot of senior guys. So yeah, we've been doing the same thing for for a while. So pretty much on on autopilot as far as that's concerned. You guys have been building this thing for a while now. Yeah. Is this the best team you think you guys have? You know what, uh, talent-wise, you could say that. But um, you don't know what, how your team gels as the season goes. You know what I mean? Uh, on paper, a lot of things look different. But your success of your season is, you know, in the camp, through the summer, now, and, you know, when the whistle blow, all heck breaks loose. So you don't know, you know. So, But uh, leadership-wise, I think it's one of our stronger teams we've had. And, you know, I've been there for 18 years, and it's one of the stronger teams we had as far as leadership goes. You guys have, have made the playoffs in the past. Mm -hmm. Last year, we we failed to get there. I know since they had this uh, the district change, yeah. uh, we we failed, and it's, it's disappointing. And yet, it's still something to motivate us. You know, it's disappointing not to be able to. You come in the season, and and, and realistically, we should have been the favorites. You know, if, if you looked on paper again, look on paper, it looks it looked like that, and we ended up being fourth in this. A couple of points away from it, but realistically, you're at home and you're playing playoffs. You know, and that's really what the bad part about. It. Um, but I know the kids are really using it for motivation. And, and Talk about uh, Allen and his Edward, and obviously some of the other leaders. And, and just is there a difference you've seen from them this summer? Um, Allen has stepped up. He he really has. You know, he has a lot of pressure on him. You know, sometimes we think, gee, you got this offer, that offer, this offer, and to a high school kid, that's that's a lot of pressure. You know, and and it, and it sometimes it it weighs on your character, but he's taking it in stride. He really has. He, he's done a real good job of working, and I, I know a lot of times for kids when they go on trips and stuff, it, it takes their mind away from it. But then when we get back to practice, I think that's where everybody relaxes or get in the weight room, and you know, then you can get focused. So he did a great job of that. Um, some of the other leaders, you know, Asan Alik, uh, Dave Montez, uh, those guys really stepped up. Um, the, you can see in our practice the, those guys saying, "Hey, to the young guys, let's go, let's go." And they're not—they don't have to be so vocal because they're not really guys that's gonna scream at you. But they're working so hard in the weight room, when doing things, getting together, even without coaches, they're getting together, right. trying to get right. So that's—that's that's the leadership today. Those, those type of qualities that those guys have. Um, what do you think are fair expectations for this team? Um, you know what. One game at a time, or one section at a time. We want to win the district. That's that's just what I'll take it. Uh, I'll, we'll take winning the district and then moving forward. But you know, we talk about everybody in in this state wants to win the state. But you know, when you talk about building goals, you need to set them so that you can achieve a goal and then move on to the next goal. So I think really an achievable goal would be to win our district and get out there and compete every game. And, Last question for you. I know Coach Burbank's talked for a while about riding off into the sunset. This will probably be it for him. Yeah, Joker ain't going nowhere, man. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. He's been retiring forever. You know, he, you would want to, uh, you would want to be able to retire, but do football coaches retire? Do we? I don't know. I mean, I know he don't. I won't. <laughs> so I think hopefully he doesn't. You hear it here, here and there, but that joke ain't going nowhere. How do you hope this team, if it is the last time, how do you hope they set the off? Okay. Uh, how you, you? It would be great if he is going to go uh, to send him off for a championship. It'll be great. It'll be a great present for for these guys who've been together for a long time. It'll be a nice present.